The Ronin Special Operations Unit of Ukraine's 65th Mechanized Brigade has achieved a highly strategic success. Three Russian Buk M3 air defense systems have been destroyed. So what does this mean? And why is this operation so critical? First of all, the Buk M3 is one of the most advanced Russian-made air defense systems. It is a true air shield that can hit targets moving at speeds of up to 3,000 kilometers per hour, and it costs around $1 million. However, in modern warfare, technological superiority is not only achieved through expensive equipment, but also through tactical intelligence. Now let's get to the real kicker. How are the Buk M3s destroyed? This system, which was vulnerable to low-altitude drones, was hunted by FPV drones and kamikaze UAVs. In other words, a few thousand dollars worth of FPV drones took out million-dollar air defense systems. This is the new reality of modern warfare. There is also a striking detail. In recent days, there has been a significant increase in the rate of destruction of air defense systems. The main reason for this is the inadequacy of low-altitude tactics and traditional radar systems in detecting small and fast FPV drones. Old war doctrines are becoming obsolete. This operation is not limited to the destruction of a few air defense systems. By eliminating the threat in the sky, Ukrainian forces are gaining greater tactical superiority in the airspace. Russian tanks are trying to advance on the battlefield, but this advance is not easy against drones and mines. The terrain is full of not only enemy lines, but also tank mines cleverly placed by Ukraine. Tanks are first hit with mines, And this is where the harsh face of war shows itself. Russian armored units on the front lines are hit first by the mines. In the Baku region, a tank hits a mine and shakes violently. However, it is not completely immobile. The crew is trying to maneuver to save the vehicle. This is where the new reality of war comes into play. Ukrainian UAVs. Kamikaze drones, silently gliding through the air, detect their targets. These unmanned hunters, aiming for the weak points of the tank, eliminate conventional armor. The primary target, the tank's engine compartment and turret connections. The first drone makes a precise hit, and a fire starts in the engine compartment. Then the second UAV disables the tank's weapon system. The crew is now completely defenseless. Fierce fighting in Pokrovsk, 71st Jaeger Brigade repulses Russian mechanized attack. Ukrainian drones are constantly destroying enemy tanks. And here, drone technology showed itself again. FPV kamikaze drones targeted Russian armored vehicles made accurate hits. Thermal cameras detected the vehicles loaded with ammunition and the attacks were directed directly to the critical areas. The result? The Russian attack failed completely. This is another example of how modern warfare is shaped. How long do you think armored units can withstand these drones? Write in the comments, subscribe so you don't miss the developments. Ukrainian airborne forces neutralize Russian soldiers in Kursk region. Hiding out on the battlefield does not always ensure safety. In the Kursk region, a group of Russian soldiers tried to escape from Ukrainian forces by hiding in a house. However, the 82nd Separate Airborne Brigade noticed this movement and launched a sudden operation, first identifying the target with the drone, then quickly neutralizing the enemy by blowing up the house. A new tactic has been introduced on the battlefield and the results are shocking. FPV drones silently glide and hunt a tank from the inside. It was too late for the crew to notice. 
The drone glided directly into the tank and seconds later a massive explosion occurred. Chie, this is one of the clearest examples of how FPV drones have become a deadly threat to armored units. Traditional defense systems are inadequate against such a small and fast threat. The future of war is no longer shaped by large tanks, but by smart and low-cost unmanned systems. It is understood from here that FPV drones can defeat even tanks when used wisely and carefully. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think tanks are now defenseless? Ukrainian FPV drones continue their destruction. Enemies bat too. Road paver destroyed for the first time. In war, paving the way is as critical as advancing. But this time, the Russian army's advance did not go as planned. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a BAT-2 road paver for the first time. In other words, if this vehicle is destroyed, the enemy's advance will stop. And that's exactly what happened. But Ukrainian FPV drone operators didn't stop there. Along with the BAT-2, an MTLB armored personnel carrier, two trucks and artillery system, a nut, military pickup truck, and even a motorcycle were destroyed. Yes, you heard right. Drones can now neutralize any target from tanks to motorcycles. This operation shows how modern warfare has transformed. In the past, tanks and artillery were the decisive force on the battlefield, but now small, fast, and precise FPV drones can neutralize much larger and more expensive targets. It seems that the Russian army's plans to advance along the front have been foiled once again. Wars are no longer won by numbers alone, but by technological superiority. A perfect move by Ukrainian operators, Russian kamikaze drone destroyed in the air. This time the target is not a tank or armored vehicle, but a deadly threat from the air. As the Russian kamikaze drone advanced towards Ukrainian positions, FPV drone operators immediately took action. Subscribe for such military analyses. Do you think air defense will be completely left to drone systems in the future? Write in the comments. As the Russian kamikaze drone advanced towards Ukrainian positions, FPV drone operators immediately took action. Subscribe for such military analyses. Do you think air defense will be completely left to drone systems in the future? Write in the comments.